Okay guys, I started the floor. But first, my helper came over today and he painted the walls. I had him paint this. This is the one hallway that never got painted when we moved in. But I started the floors and um, it keeps, I don't know, it keeps not wanting to go together right in here. So, I'm done for today. I still have to do deep into that closet there. But I'm happy the walls are done. I gotta get the baseboards, but I gotta get the floor done first. It'll be done soon. And then, look, we got a walk path. Oh, shoot, Louie, your toy almost fell over it. Then I have to start this floor, but I did get this room painted. Got this one painted today, too. So it looks pretty good. I need a second coat here because I took this little thing and painted around there while he was painting. And I guess he thought I was going to do a second coat and I never did. But it looks good. And I got a folding table, but I used this out back to paint on. So now I got to get something to get the paint off. Or throw something over it and use it as a folding table. But I'm real happy with it. I guess after I do the hall and the, um, the little closet in the hall... I'm gonna, I gotta do this closet over here too. Gotta do that little closet there. And then I'll go and I'll start the laundry room. Now in the laundry room, I am going to run the boards the opposite direction. Wait a minute, that would be the right direction. I was thinking I was gonna run them the opposite direction, but no, that would be the right direction. I'm gonna start over there and I'm gonna bring them to here, but I'm gonna do a transition because it's hard to work backwards. And see, to me it looks like that might be coming apart. I might have to pound this back. I don't know. If I could work the same direction or backwards, I'd put it in put it in from here and just keep it, you know, all connected together, but it's too hard to try to work and do it backwards. So but I'll probably put it in here anyways. It'll be yeah, it's gonna be ran this way. Same as this. And then the kitchen I've going to run it straight also so it's all going to be running in the same direction did my bedroom get the same direction yeah it did okay all right so that's all for now Oh, oh yeah, hey, <laughs> what the heck? I look like crap. I can't believe you filming me. I'm getting it done, guys. It's taking me forever. She's almost I'm in the, the closet, closet again. I'm almost getting ready to come out of the closet again. What the heck? This is awful. Let me see. This has been, the closet's actually been pretty darn easy. Um, the hallway was, um, oh, I get back out a second. I meant to film. I had the camera on the table and I just haven't filmed today. I don't know. Anyways, this thing right here has been a lifesaver. Um, I started doing this hallway and when I got over to that wall, I could not get it tight enough. And I knew what I needed and I had a pry bar and if somebody could have bent that sucker for me, I would have used it. If they could have bent the opposite end. But, um... I'm going to have nobody to bend it. So I knew they had to sell something like this. So I went to one hardware store and they didn't have it. And then I had to go all the way to Home Depot. And um, you put it on the edge, you know, on the back side of the, of the wood back there. And then you hammer it and it gets it tight and then you can put it in. So I have to use this and go back behind my couch in the living room and this whole back wall here. And try and tighten it up more. Because I know I didn't get it real tight. But I got it tight. And then also in my bedroom. And um, I think that's the only two places. In my bedroom I need to do it on the one wall. But this is turning out good. I'm almost done with this hallway. I'm so happy. Um, my living room's still a mess. I can't get up and show you right now. But um, I want to get my Christmas decorations up, and it's just, it's just, I gotta get this hallway done so I can bring the shelf out here that belongs, 
that's going to sit against this wall. There's a small shelf with the cubes. It'll fit here. And the cat lid will go over beside it. Um, and then that's one more thing out of the living room. And then I can figure out. I got a, I bought a big box, a big storage cabinet. And it's cracked. So I'm waiting to see if they're going to send me the wood. If not, i got to take it back. But meanwhile, it's sitting in my dining room on the floor. So i got to do something before Christmas. If I don't get the... They don't send me the stuff before Christmas. I'm going to take it back. Um, I had to order it on Walmart.com, so I would have to order a new one and have it shipped. I'd have to return this one and then wait. It's just a pain in the ass. I just hope it. It says on the box, um, if there's a problem, don't return it to call them. Well, I called them. It took me seven days to get a hold of them. And then the lady that I got to talk to, she said... She took all the information. She said, well, somebody will be calling you. Well, nobody's called me yet. And then um, I had bought a coffee table in the living room. It's the same rustic gray like the cabinet that I bought, but it was made by um, solder. And the, the side, one little board and, and one, two little boards on that one was scratched. And I called them and I had it in three days. But the big one that's the rustic gray, it's made by Better Homes and Gardens. So if you go to buy something and the box looks damaged, don't buy it. because Especially if it's from Better Homes and Gardens because they're not going to ship you nothing anytime fast. Um, but solder will. They sh I mean, it was like here in three days. But I have to measure this. Last piece is going to be cut off a little bit. I have to measure it and then get this in and get the trim board up and be done with this this side of the house. And I still have my hall closet, the laundry room, and the kitchen. Alright, so I'm getting back to work. Thank you, Haley, for bringing me the camera. I mean, I haven't filmed all day. Alright, I love you guys and I will see you, I guess, when I start another part of the flooring. Um, this is going to be done here any second. Yay! I'm using my camera light. Because it's dark in the closet. Alright, guys. Okay, guys. Check it out. I got the baseboards back up. I need to put the transition in here. This is the hallway on Haley's side of the house. Um, I got this closet. It looks so good. I don't know where the trim boards are for in here, but... I'll find them. Just not right now. I went outside and I ended up pressure washing the driveway and my toes are freezing. It's dark and it got cold and I couldn't even see what I was doing. But the hallway is done. I am excited. Yay. Trying to get this mess cleaned up. I got a lot cleaned up. Remember how it was piled up real high out here? Trying to get that cleaned up. That bottom box is that shelf that I told you guys, I, uh, the storage thing I bought. But it, the boards are damaged. So if they don't send me new ones, I'm going to have to take it back. But So the whole living room is done. Um, the, the entryway, the living room. This hallway here in the closet. The only thing we have left to do is the kitchen. And I've already got that cabinet and that cabinet broke loose, you know, away from the wall. This one here, just it's not attached. And then that's one of my shelves. Um, so I can start in here. But the day I start in here, I got to at least make it, you know, this far so that I can put the items back. Um, but I don't know when I'm going to do that. I keep jumping from the floor to the pressure washer to painting to all kinds of stuff. Um, but this is all done, and this hallway closet I have to finish. We did move most of Tyler's stuff to the other closet. We're going to put shelves in here, and we're going to make it a pantry where we can put, um, like excess pans and then food and, you know, at the top, the paper towels and paper plates. Um, I need to put a transition here. My room is completely done. Whoop, whoop. And um, I need to attach these baseboards, which I haven't done that yet. Um, I need a transition here. My closet's done. That closet's done. 
So the only thing I have left is this little dinky closet, which I'll probably do tomorrow. Get that done, and then I want to get some shelves to go in there. Um, and then everything, and then try to find all the baseboards, because I don't know where they all are. They're all over the place. Um, so then all I'll have left to do is the kitchen. And be, like I said, I broke those loose, so I could do this one here. I'm going to get this one broke loose. If I can. And if I can, I can do underneath there, behind the, you know, back there. I can come all the way over to, I can probably do the whole thing and just save it a couple extra pieces for when I take this out. Um, because the dishwasher will pull out if I can get that other cabinet out. So I can probably, you know, just finish it and then just have to take a couple pieces apart when I, when we get this, this thing here out. I don't know. I'm happy. It's looking a lot better. This kitchen floor still makes me sick looking at it. But the rest of the house is looking better. And here's my here's my corner that I'm going to have my desk, which I haven't even started making. Um, I still got to find homes for all this junk. And this top stuff is probably going to be easy to find homes for. It's just keeping that keeping that around until they send me the board. This looks like it's up. No, it's not. Um, you know, until they send me the right boards to fix it, or if I have to take it back, I want to get rid of this thing right here, or maybe take it out to my shed, and put this item here, either right here, or put it over here under the TV, and put the fireplace over there. I'm just not sure yet, but looky what I got today. Aren't they beautiful? Nutcrackers. I love nutcrackers. Years ago, I saved um, snowmen, and then when my house burnt down, I lost every single snowman. Said I was never going to collect anything again. But I started collecting nutcrackers, and I've always wanted a large one. And um, today I went to uh, Home Depot to get a tool to finish up the floor. And I seen these there on sale for $24.99, and they were regular $119. So I got that little guy, and I got I got two of them. One of them was loose at the feet. I don't remember which one, but they knocked five more dollars off. So one of them I got for 20, and one of them I got for 25. But I love them, and they light up. I have to get some batteries, but look, they light up. They're so cute. I don't even know if you can see it. Turn some lights out. Here we go. Check it out. Every time I say check it out, I think of your song, Haley. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Isn't that what it was called? Yeah, or that was part of it. Okay, so I'm done for the night. My back is killing me. I still have, what, two, four, six, eight. I still have ten boxes of flooring, so it should be plenty, hopefully. Ten boxes plus whatever's on the top. Um, so hopefully it's enough for the kitchen. I was thinking I might have a few extra boxes to take back. But I have to keep a few extra pieces so when I do this kitchen... Oh, no! I'm lying! I gotta do this laundry room! Shoot! Almost forgot. I gotta do this laundry room. <laughs> but So maybe I won't have any extras. Might not have any extras, but look at it. It looks so good. And then little Ty is sleeping, and I'm talking. So, look at it. It's beautiful. I love it because it's it's 100% vinyl, and it looks like hardwood floors. And it's got the doll finish, and I don't need a shiny floor. This is a doll finish, and it looks like hardwood. It's so pretty. Okay. Okay, guys. Yeah. Got my hair pulled up. I've been out there pressure washing. I look like crap, but that's okay. And I will see you guys when I do something else. Good morning, everyone. Today, I thought I was gonna have help, but that didn't work out. Um, so today I am going to try and move this furniture in, well, not the furniture, the cabinets in the kitchen. And, um, try to start on this floor. So I'll show you guys what I'm doing. Uh, 
Okay, so the kitchen's a mess. But I'm going to try to move the refrigerator, the cabinet, the stove, that cabinet, that cabinet, and that shelf. And then this table way over here. So that I can start these floors. I'm going to start on the wall behind that stuff. So, it's going to be a lot of work. A lot of moving. And nobody to help me. Okay, guys. I got that one shelf moved. That thing there is the pantry. And it's so full of food. I can't move it. So then I had to jump. I'm, I'm, I'm out of breath. I'm like frustrated. I had to jump to this closet because remember I'm going to put shelves in here and move all the food into this closet. So now I have to do this closet first, the shelves and the floor before I can even touch the kitchen by moving all this stuff here. Because the stuff's too heavy. I got to have a place to go with this stuff and I don't even have totes. So, I'm in here working on this closet right here. I'm getting frustrated. I'm really getting frustrated. Can't get nobody to help me. I hope nobody needs my help because I'm not going to help. I'm always helping people. For nothing. I don't charge them. I don't mind even paying people. But, it's hard to find good help even when you pay them. So I'm working on the closet here. And I guess when I get somewhere, I don't even know how I'm going to cut these, this plastic thing. I have no clue what I'm going to use to cut that. I guess I'll get to that. I'll get there when I, to that point when I, when I get there, I guess. I don't know. But I'll let you guys see the progress once I get rolling. Okay, so here's the shelves. They're 16 inch shelves. The other one was one, one foot. I have to cut them off right here. I don't know how I'm going to do it. All the way across. And then it'll make four shelves. <coughs> I got the lines on the walls. And I leveled them out. So. Now I just have to figure out how I'm going to cut them things. I don't know what I'm going to cut them with. But. I guess I'm going to go figure it out. Okay guys. I got the lines. I got the holes drilled. I'm gonna, it only calls for three of those things along the back wall, but I'm putting four in because I got extras. And I got all the holes drilled and trying to get ready to do this. The last shelf I'm not gonna be able to put in right away because I gotta finish this floor. So hopefully if I get the shelf done, I can finish this floor. But I got to put, um, make the hole a little bit bigger and put the anchors in. And then I will show you guys. Okay, I got the little hooks in. Only problem, I mean, there's not really a problem, but that line needs to go because that the shelf's going to be here, hooked into here. So you'll be able to see that line. So I got to find an eraser and erase that line. But other than that, it's perfect. I got to figure out where where the things go over here. But. It's looking good. Haley just came in and said, I'm going to stretch and I'm going to learn a new dance. So let's see if we can watch her new dance without her seeing us watch her new dance. She might get mad at me. Yeah, let's go to the other window. She'll probably get mad at me, especially if she knows I put it in the video. She goes out there and teaches herself dances. One morning she was out there at five in the morning, teaching herself a dance, and then she 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 knows the whole dance. It's crazy. I'm gonna have to get her to teach me a dance, but I have to get back to work on this shelf. So here we go. Okay guys, I got one shelf in. I even used the level. It's straight this way, but from here to there is a little off. Not much. Um, you can't even tell from back here looking, but I can tell from standing right here that this goes down a little bit in the back, but it's pretty strong. It'll hold food. I'm starting on the second one. I should have worked my way from the bottom up, but I still have to do that floor, so I can't really do that bottom one yet. 
I can get it in there and get it so that it snaps back in later, but I can't wait for this to be done. And Haley said she was going to bring all the food and stuff over here, so I don't even have to do that. Thank God. Um, so I'm almost there. Hallelujah. It's done. And they're pretty strong. So I want to finish this floor real quick. Put the baseboards back in. And let Haley start loading this up with food. These aren't real strong. I mean this one. Well I guess they're all like that. But we're going to load it up with food. And maybe some excess dishes at the bottom. Or pots and pans that we don't use every day. And then like paper towels. And I'm putting toilet paper in here too. Um, this probably could have been up higher. But I'm not moving it. There's no, I didn't screw up. Well, I, the drill hit that, but that's not really a hole. So I didn't make any holes that didn't need to be there. Whoop, whoop. I did it. I did it. Are you guys proud of me? Yay. Now, this cabinet here is like a pantry cabinet. It's really, really nice. But I'm going to try and I'm going to put it up for sale. I'm going to try to sell it because I want countertops that goes to here. And um, this has got all the food in it. So all this food will go into the pantry. And the pantry sh shelf is 16 inches and these are probably not even a foot. So I should have plenty of room in the pantry. Hopefully it all works out. But, um, this is nice. It's really nice. But I don't have enough counter space in here. I mean, if you look, I have that counter space and that counter space. And then this one's all messed up. But, and then that one. That's it. So, I figure I'll, when we do the new cabinets and counters, we'll do the cabinet and counter. And then we'll do the cabinet. I actually want to come, like, 36 inches longer and have that much more counter space past this, like maybe over to here. I'm not sure because the table's gonna go, you know, back under the center, but it's just gonna be a counter with a, or a cabinets with counter. I think it will work out perfect, not positive, but hopefully I gotta price these and see how much they run. This thing's like brand new and it didn't get messed up. So, and it's big. It's probably two, seven foot. I'm five, six, seven. It's probably eight foot. Maybe. Maybe seven foot. I don't know how tall it is. But anyways, that's the plan. Hopefully I can sell that and make some money to go towards new countertops. I don't even know how much new countertops cost. I know you can buy the kind that you cut yourself. And that's fine over here. But this angle here from the sink and going this direction, there ain't no way. So, it's going to have to be special made. So, I don't know how much something like that costs. I guess I will have to price it out. Or, hang on to this countertop over here. And try to find something that matches this. I've seen something similar to this at Home Depot. So, if I can find something that matches, I can keep this side. And, um, I could actually... I wouldn't want to, probably. I'd want this side to match. Buy a piece for here, cut it off, and then buy a piece for here that goes all the way down here with the countertop. I'll have so much more countertop. Plus, I want to make a small island, which is not going to be an island to stay in the kitchen. It's going to be an island on wheels for when I do cooking things. I can put it right here and film. So, it would be right there. And we'd be looking at me this way when we do cooking. We'd have an island, we'd have the stove, and we'd have the sink. And then it would be on wheels so I could push it out of the way when we wasn't using it. So, I don't know. You know me, guys. I have so many plans and ideas, and eventually they will come true. Because I will make them come true. It's hot out today. Probably not hot enough to jump in the pool. That pool's cold. But it's really hot out today. Alright. I gotta finish my floors in my hall closet. This hall closet. Oop. And then put the door back up. Put the food in there. Boy, is it gonna be so much more storage.
Okay, guys, so I trimmed the vinyl planks that I'm going to use to go in this closet. Now, I, I got to work backwards because it hooks underneath here. Hopefully, I can do this. If not, well, I'll just put another transition in. It won't matter because it'll be behind the closet door. Because if you see that this thing's here, you're not even going to see it. But I'm going to try to do it the right way without having to put a transition in. If not, no big deal. Cabinets are in. All I gotta do is get that floor down and Haley can come put the food in here. Then I can start on the kitchen. So, I gotta get started. Looky there, guys. It looks good. I got the floor in. I got the baseboards up. Only issue is I can't find the knob that goes right here. So, I, I'm still looking. But, it'll close. And you won't see nothing. It's gonna be perfect. What the heck's that? Looks like a nail or something coming to loose. Is that a nail? I think that's a nail coming out. Oh, I can't stay still. It's a freaking nail coming out of the roof. Or the ceiling. The roof. The roof, roof. Anyways, it's done. I still want to paint. I started painting that trim board, but I want to paint that door to match that white trim board. But that's later. It's good to right now. Haley's going to come and put all the food over there. Got it done. There we go, guys. Looks like I can buy some more food now. I got more room. Lots more room. I put the cans on the floor. I think they'll be okay on the floor. I don't think there's any reason they can't be on the floor. Um, they were weighing the shelf down a little too much with the whole shelf full of cans. So I put them down on the floor. But I think it looks really good. Awesome. I still haven't got them transitions in yet. And here's this cabinet. I looked this cabinet up. And it is $369. I think it was $369.99. And that is just the plain cabinet. It doesn't have the swinging, you know, the accessories. It doesn't have this, and it doesn't have this. So $369 for just the cabinet. And we have the two extra bonuses here. And it's in excellent condition. I mean, there's not, there's no marks on it at all. You can look at the bottom. So what do you think? Do you guys think that with the accessories and everything in it, I could probably list it maybe for 250? Or do you think I can't get that much? It's got, you know, it's nice on, on the sides too. So if it's not built in, the sides look good. Um, I don't know. I might list it for like two fifty and see what, see what I get. Cause they're three sixty nine, so two fifty would be a hundred cheaper. But to buy this accessory kit, you know, this thing here that comes out, and you can put stuff here, and you can put stuff here in this door. That's another like I don't know, hundred and something dollars. I don't know. Maybe I won't get two fifty. Maybe I'll just get two hundred. But I'm not going to use it because I'm getting brown cabinets. Or I could put it in the garage. But right now, there is no room in the garage for anything. It wouldn't be a bad cabinet for, you know, like the nuts and bolts and, um, you know, screws. Well, we couldn't really put nothing too heavy on here. The screws and just organized tools. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. So I'm just going to stop talking. But anyways, so the cabinet was here, and now look at the wall space. And can you imagine if I had counter space that went further? I really wish this wasn't a circle here, because then I'd take them counters all the way to the end. But right now, I need, I need more counter space, more than I need a pantry. So, I don't know. We'll see. Hello, I'm in the kitchen. 
I moved the refrigerator and the two cabinets in the stove that direction. Hello guys. I started on the kitchen. I scraped as much of that old floor up as I could. I couldn't get it all up. I'm worried about getting the cabinets back on top of the planks without scratching the planks all up. So, I don't know. We'll see. But it's getting there. 